Hello, brethren. Today is a wonderful day. It's a bright day. I thank God for those of you that are here today. I thank God for your life and the way you have connected on this channel. Wherever you are hearing this message from, I want you to thank God because the secret of overcoming the obstacle of being small in the kingdom of God and on this world has been given to us in the Bible a long time ago, but we didn't understand it. By the grace of God today, after this message, you will understand how to sell what God has put in you. Every person that you see is a potential salesperson. Either you are working for somebody and selling your time, or you are also selling a product. But whatever you are selling, you need to know how to get the word out for people to know what you do. And that brings us to the message today. The power of media. Amen. My name is Bishop Chukwode Ezobele. And God has given us an insight on what we can use to take over the 21st century. This is an era of digital media. Everything is online. And Christians have been lacking behind on this part of the world. Because we think that media is evil. I spoke to a lot of people as I travel along ministering the word of God. And a lot of people don't have an email account. Just an email account. Many millions of people in this world have never opened an email account. And some people have one, but they don't use it. Many don't have a Facebook account. They think that when you go to Facebook, you are trying to go to gossip. But they don't understand that the internet... Is what you put in that is what you will receive when you garbage in that is what you garbage out a lot don't know about YouTube they never heard about it it sounds strange those of us that live in the Western world in the United States of America some of these things are available but how many people use them then if you start to travel around the world even you will surprise that in America a lot of folks that have product great product they have businesses, they have restaurants. Some people have a business of services that they provide for people, but they just keep it in their locality because they feel that that is who God has called them to be. Jesus gave us a word. He said, go ye to the wall. The wall, you can't reach the wall targeting your community alone. Go ye to the wall is not only to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. It's also to go out there and live the life of Christ through your business model. And people will see it and they want to be attracted to what you do. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for after this short hour that we are going to be here discussing about media and digital evangelism and advertisement through media. Open our understanding and everyone that is listening to us right now that whatever we have spoken and what we are going to say let it not be an enticing word of a man but let it be the word of God that will bring glory to thy holy name we thank you for we know that you have done it right now in the name of Jesus Christ amen brethren I'm going to go to the word of God first before we go further I want us to see some things because I want you to understand this thing. If you, are, if you are here listening to us and you are not a Christian, don't be confused. We're reading the Bible because this is the model that we used to say. But you can also be blessed as an unbeliever through this message. The power of media is for everybody. Whether you are an atheist, you are a Muslim, there is something that you have in you that God wants to bring out. And I want you to listen to this. After this message, you might decide to become a Christian. Because God is still in the attitude of reaching the world through different means. And if this is the only way you can hear the word of God, let it be that this word will bless your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The book of Luke is in the New Testament. Chapter 5, Jesus introduced media. And many of us talk about the fish and the bread which we know that the world is more in tune with food. 
People love to talk about, especially in the Western world where food is more than anything. It's everywhere. You see food all over. And people are connected to food all over the world. Every time you introduce food, people want to come. But Jesus introduced media in Luke chapter 5. And I want you to go to the Bible if you have one or write it down. You can read it as the Lord gives you the grace. Verse 1, the Bible says, Luke chapter 5, And it came to pass, as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood at by the lake of Gennesaret. Verse 2, And saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and were washing their nets. I want you to see the word nets. Verse 3, And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him, that he could thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. So Jesus came and saw a ship at the lake of Gennesaret. And the fishermen were gone out of the ship. We all know this story. But I want you to understand it again from a media perspective now. And Jesus was being pressed upon. The Bible said the multitude were coming to him. And when they were pressing on him, he had a problem. His voice alone cannot reach out to the thousands of people that were following him. So he took them to the seashore, knowing fully well that they were frustrated men that were about to quit their business in that place. And Jesus came and saw Peter and his brothers and his associates and their rivals washing their nets. And he asked Peter, can I use your boat? And when Peter gave up the boat, many of you are going to give up something for God to reach in and expand your business now. Because what I'm telling you today is, if you can understand it with a spiritual eye, after this message, your business, everything will expand because God will give you the power to advertise yourself. Jesus sat on the boat, and the first thing he did, he began to preach the word of God, and the wave of Genazareth, the lake of Genazareth, drove the message on both angles because the the wind was coming through the, 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 the lake and there was wave coming out from from the lake and when Jesus preached many of you that understand media that's why we use altar as an, a high platform if you want to build a stage you make it higher so that when you sing or play music or something it will go with the with this with, with the wave of, 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 of the place it can drive it further so Jesus was sitting on a higher platform which is the boat but the boat was upon the lake of Genazareth, and the sea has wind that was going through it. So when he speaks, the wave drove the message by the shores of the sea. That was microphone, that was speaker that he introduced here. That was the kind of media that was needed at that time. If Jesus was here today, he would be on the internet, he would be on the emails. He will be on Facebook. He will be on YouTube account. He will be on Google Plus. He will be on apps. He will be on Twitter. He will be on every gadget. And Christians have been lacking. Companies spend millions on millions just to advertise a product. And they know that that product, they might not make it at the first quarter or second quarter. But if that advert keep on going, before you know it, the one-time advert can pay off for the next five years. Amen. So look at what happened. In that same place, the Bible says, and in verse 3, and he entered into the ship, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he could trust a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Look at verse 4. What, what, what happened there? He said, now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep. And let down your nets. That was plural for a drought. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down my net. Peter did not really believe everything. He said, Well, I've been in fishing for a while, and we have walked during the night where the fish is coming out. We we couldn't get nothing. But because of what I've seen you do now, because of what I've heard you say. I will let down one net. We all know the rest of the story. You can take it from there. After Peter let down that one net, every ship in that sea came into that one net. And every, every fish came in there. And 
Peter was amazed of the harvest that God gave to him that day. Many of you are, that are listening to this message today, you will be surprised when you start to take advantage of the tools that are available for you to expand your ministry, to expand your business, to expand what you do on the internet. Billions of dollars are there every day. It's a open field. It's where you can come with nothing and set up a shop. And if God favor is upon your life and what you are doing is the right thing and you take advantage of the power that is on that thing called internet, on the, the power that is on, on what we call radio, the power on television, the power on emails and Facebook and YouTube, these are all media. These are all called media. That's why I call the message the power of media. If you can take advantage of that, you will see where God will take you. Many of us have not been to different places in this world, but what we do, if we put it very well, advertise it very well, people from other parts of the world will start to get it. I want to take us to the next point. When Jesus said in the book of Matthew 28, he was talking about we going out to preach the gospel all over the world baptizing men in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. But there's something he said there that I want you to get. Look at verse 18. And, and came to pass and he spoke unto them saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power, including the media, has been given unto Jesus Christ in the heavenlies and on earth. Look at verse 19. He said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. How can you go to the world if you don't have the resources to fly an airplane, travel from here in America or to Africa, to Europe, to Asia and all that? There's another way that you can go. It's through media. Through media. It can take you to any part of the world. I'm going to show you in the Bible how we can travel through the media or the television. Hallelujah. How you can travel far and near through all these things. On television, for instance, the only way for people to hear your voice in your locality or in your state is for you to be on your local television wherever you live, on a cable, hallelujah, or internet television worldwide. There's a lot of internet television now. And people think that, oh, how can I be on the internet? How many people see me? Billions of people are online every second checking out what is the latest product, what is the latest preacher, what is the latest message, what is happening. And if you go there and you package yourself very well based on what God has put in you, like the woman that said, I had nothing. And Elijah said, no. He said, I just have a pot of oil. That is nothing. And like I said, now that's enough. Many of you might be listening to me. You say, I don't have education. I don't have this. But you have something that somebody can see online. And you become the next sensation. And you become the next guru. People will start to come and say, what is, we have never heard of this person. We have never seen this man, this woman. But there is power in media. I've talked about Matthew 28. Let's go where God introduced internet. It's in the Bible. Look at the book of Psalm 19. If you have a Bible, I want you to write these things down because it's going to help us to understand. Some of, some of the pastors that have spoken to over time and men of faith, they want to tell us that, oh, God is not in support of using all these gadgets. But many of them still have a cell phone. Hallelujah. You could have dropped your cell phone or even your house phone because all these things go online. But the cell phone, the house phone, the television, the internet, everything is online. Psalm 19, look at verse 1. I'm going to read just four, four verses. Then we break it down because we are just going to the nitty gritty right now. The book of Psalm 19, verse 1. It said, The heaven declare the glory of the Lord, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Verse 2, it said, They unto day, utter speech, night unto night, showeth knowledge. He said, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Verse 3. 